29 years ago, a movie came out that changed the film industry and our hearts forever. That movie was Toy Story, made by the geniuses at, uh, at Pixar. Now we're celebrating Pix. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, it's Cinco de Mayo, so we're going to try all the new Mexican food in the parks. Let's go! Come on, vámonos! Okay, so this might not be a Mexican thing, but when I heard that they had a pickle lemonade uh, in the park starting this weekend, uh, you know I had to try this. Uh, huge fan of pickles, so it's non-alcoholic. Usually pickle juice and alcohol go hand in hand. You know, we do picklebacks when we need to. Um, this is pickle juice, lemonade, and Sprite. Uh, you know Meredith, when Michael Scott gives her that drink that's full of booze? Oh. My. God! <laughs> Hit me again! All right! This is so good. <laughs> it's so good. It's very, it's it's not pickle heavy at all, which is good. I mean, I, I, I have literally drank pickle juice straight before, um, but... It's really light and refreshing. This is outstanding. Also, it's served with an entire pickle spear in here. So, yeah, this is an incredible choice. All right, now for the Mexican food. Uh, we made our way to Rancho del Zacalo for a few of their new their new menu items. One is the esquite bowl, and the one that was like kind of the most exciting was the. Uh, Soy chorizo con papa tacos, which is uh, a set of three of those tacos. And then uh, to drink, because I got the pickle, the pickled drink, Cynthia got the uh, cucumber lime agua fresca. I think it's incredibly interesting that we chose drinks, one of a cucumber and then one of a pickle. <laughs> we've got chorizo, we've got potato, digging it. Clear there. There you go. Look at this. Man, that looks like a good bite. Oh, they're so nice and warm. It's spicy too. That sauce. I'm bringing the heat. Okay. This is very good. Wood good again. Would good again? Oh yeah. Oh, well, you know what? It's time. Oh my goodness. Oh, outstanding. Also, for all those folks here for uh, Pixar Fest, the Imagineers here did a really fun little like Easter egg hunt throughout both parks. Um, in the same vein of like when you're watching a Pixar movie, everyone's always looking for the Pizza Planet truck in the background somewhere. And so they've hidden a bunch of Pizza Planet trucks all over both parks for you to find. Uh, we've only found one. We, to be honest, we haven't really been looking until. I have. Oh, Cynthia, Cynthia says she. I didn't even find that one. Cynthia says she's been looking. <laughs> I, I completely forgot about it, but. Um, we found this one here in New Orleans Square, right across from the Blue Bayou. It's got like. It's like a art, a Pizza Planet art truck. So now I think we're gonna spend a, a little bit of time walking around trying to find these Pizza Planet trucks because that is just one of those like synergistic decisions that just, they just make sense, you know? It just makes sense. All right, we found another one. 
a couple steps into California Adventure, but that, that, that one feels like an easy one. So we're hoping to find ones that aren't like in obvious places, if that makes sense. But we're not good at this because we walked around a couple of lands before we came over to this park and we didn't see anything. So we're either really bad at this or they're really good at hiding it. But I don't think they're really hiding it. They're, they're all pretty much on plain sight. We're just bad. We're bad. Okay, we're gonna try and find some more. Okay, so in Avengers Campus, we went to the Shawarma Palace 2, right outside of Hyperion, to get the new Al Pastor Shawarma. The Al Pastor Shawarma also comes with a side of basically guacamole, or avocado dipping sauce, as they say. Al Pastor is one of my favorite because it has some sweetness in it, because most of them, most of it is served with like either cooked in pineapple or served with like little chunks of pineapple. Um, so this is no different. There's there's chunks of pineapple, marinated meat, and all that fun stuff. Um, it's ugly delicious, as they say, because wrapped up like that looks really not so appetizing. But it is it is very good. I, I I really love everything from the shawarma places, like the breakfast shawarma, the regular shawarma, and now this al pastor shawarma. You cannot beat it. Little fusion, little Mexican. Middle East fusion. And then we also got the watermelon habanero hard float from Clarabelle's. Uh, I will say right off the bat, this is probably the winner of the like, this is not what it looked like on the app. <laughs> the, the watermelon was like supposed to be drizzled with like chamoy and tahini and hanging on the rim, but they just like shoved it in there. Um, it's watermelon, it's got watermelon sorbet in it, side of watermelon. I'm curious how the habanero is. So let's ask Cynthia. Cynthia said it is not spicy at all. I don't taste any spice. Mm. Drink it from the sorbet side. There's, it's definitely, it's kind of quite a bit of it actually. <laughs> yeah, for me, for me. I don't know how you feel about it, but I think it's got definitely heat to it. No, nope. Cynthia, it. typical day for Cynthia. <laughs> all right. Let me try some of this. I don't know if this is my favorite of the shawarmas. The breakfast one with the impossible like sausage has that like, has that syrup that is like, got heat to it, like spice. I think the breakfast shawarma is still my favorite. Um, this is probably a close second. I really like this. It's just not my favorite of the shawarmas, but there's no heat in this one at all. But Cynthia's crazy. This is, this has got habanero, a lot of it actually. Like as soon as you drink it, it's like, ooh, ooh. So Cynthia and I both agree that the hard float is actually kind of a miss. Uh, the, the stuff with the sorbet is pretty good, but then after that, there's just no like, it's not a lot of flavor. And I wouldn't even say that it's like, it's because it's too hot for me, because it, it really isn't. There is spice there. It's not too hot, but it's just not good. It's not as, not as definitely not as good as that fall hard float that we had last year. That was incredible. This is not so much. Like I prefer the pickle drink to this today and that didn't even have booze in it. Was your pineapple agua fresca better than this? Yeah. Oh, so not so much. We're not, we're not high on this one. The apple store shawarma was good. You like that? No? Okay. You're a carne asada girly. So, okay, this one was kind of like 50-50. I liked the shawarma, did not like that. Cynthia didn't really care for either thing. So I kind of feel like like the stuff at Disneyland, the Mexican stuff at Disneyland is definitely much better. Okay, well, you know, it's Sunday. We got work tomorrow. I think that's it for today. Thanks for watching. We hope your day is as wonderfully normal as ours. Take a look, look at this, look at this. Look at, oh, oh yeah. Red car trolley.